Okay, so we're gonna make some Greek potatoes. I got two lemons, cut like that, and two huge potatoes. Because I don't eat a lot. <laughs> and I also have this stuff. I've never tried it before, but I don't want fresh onions. I just want a hint of broth in this awful cute pan. I got the oven according to suggestions of what temperature, 425, 425 degrees. I boiled the potatoes already for about 35 minutes on high with a nice couple tablespoons of salt. And this is the potato water. I'm gonna use that with this. So that's going with that. And it's time to prep. Basically, we're gonna peel these potatoes because we don't want peels and Greek lemon potatoes, though I can eat peels and potatoes anytime. These gotta be peeled. What the heck is that? Well, I'll chop it off. Anyway, these are only the only potatoes I got. This looks good. I really want to have a nice peeled potato that's soft. So I peel, boil these just as they are for 35 minutes in the pan. They suggest garlic. But I don't know about garlic. Do I, I don't want garlic. I want just lemon potatoes, like garlic is wonderful and everything, but let's set it aside. And got pepper, salt. I have a bunch of sea salt right here. This is sea salt. The other salt's too salty. I mean, seriously, it, I'm not making this up, but it's true, it's true. Oil, we need oil. We'll go up here. Olive oil is perfect, but I can't afford it, so I'm going with vegetable oil. Oil, 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 oil. I love oil. Like, I can put tons of oil in everything. Do I need anything else? I'm thinking thyme leaves, a little bit of thyme. Other people use oregano, but I can't stand oregano, so I'm using thyme. So here it is, the goods. We're gonna make this.